morning gents sunny now we got the shade here anyways today we have this uh, carrier unit um, complaint is that it has zero communication with the EMS system so I literally just pulled up here took this panel off first thing I noticed is we got a little problem in the 24 volt system so this is gonna be fun I'm not gonna lie it's pretty cold. Whew, you're in the shade. All right, let me start digging into this and uh, let you know what I find. All right, so now that we know that our problem is going to be a 24 volt short, I just canceled all my appointments for the entire week because I will be here all week. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, okay, so first thing I do when I check for um, a low voltage short is number one, you do what is obvious. So you'll give everything a good look through, see if you don't have any uh, wires grounding out on some penetrations. Um, Maybe the uh, the high limit somehow rubbed out on the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, the high limit on the, you know, rubs out on the uh, discharge line or anything. So before we continue and start messing with testing each contactor coil, all of our safeties, all of our thermostat wire in between and all that, I'm going to open this up because we have a uh, 24 volt uh, high limit switch on this side and uh, first thing I want to do is like I said expose everything look at the obvious and then you can start digging in so we're still popped right there so let me go ahead and open this up real quick and I'll be right back alright gentlemen and this is ladies and gentlemen this is why before you start digging in to checking ohms, volts, continuity to ground, this is why. There's always going to be, or not always, but you want to eliminate the obvious reasons why. And here's our main reason why. So this belt ripped at some point. Um... And, uh, and it caught our 24 volts uh, wires for the high limit. So I already took this off. It was all damaged. I just gotta test this guy out. Oh, yeah, no, it's done. So, and you can see this has been damaged. You can see right there, hold on, right there, where it's been, or it arced once or twice, or however many times that is. <laughs> so, so anyways, like I said, you guys want to do the obvious first. Expose pretty much all your wiring, and see if anything just kind of jumps out at you. And sure enough, here's our issue right here. So uh, we're gonna go grab a belt. Look at all this. Pick this shit up in a minute. Oh, this is nasty. Um. All right, so we'll go grab a belt. We'll go grab the high limit, and uh, we'll get ready to get this unit up and running. It shouldn't be too difficult. Once uh, once I repair all this, we'll test the 24 volts, and uh, if that more than likely is the issue then we'll just get this unit up and running get these people some heat in here so I'll be back boy did I have some fun taking that belt out it was really wrapped around the inside of the pulley so I got the belt in 
We've got the new limit switch in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tidy all this up. Uh, just to make sure that it's not gonna get caught up again. I mean, you can't avoid everything, but you can at least make this look somewhat nice. We'll take it out of the factory spot here and bring it, I don't know, maybe right here. So in case the belt ever does that again, slap it on here or something. And like I said, you can't uh, prevent everything, but you can take some preventive measures. So let me tidy all this up and we'll get this unit started up. So, all right. And a little nice tidy up up here. I ran this a little out of the way. And I decided not to move it from there, but it's all right. Because like you can't prevent everything. So I already talked to them about this right here. Uh, they said more than likely they're not going to fix it. I said, okay. Um, so anyways, I still have to vacuum all this out. Uh, pick up all my trash. It's all the belt. And uh, that's it, but uh, let's, uh, let's try the uh, moment of truth here. I already reset the little popper. Got it jumped out on green. There we go. So we are good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna test it in heat mode. Let it run, and then I'm gonna test it in cooling mode and let it run. And then that way you'll know if you have any any other issues with the 24 volts because you're running it in both uh, both modes. So, but anyways, that was it for today, gents. Just a uh, high limit voltage uh, hitting ground. Um, main point of today is don't overlook the obvious. That's it, you could spend hours messing around here with 24 volts and trying to find uh, some sort of rub out on the penetrations or whatever the case is when all you got to do is look at the big picture and uh, that's it so i'm not going to bore you guys with cleanup and all that um i'll take care of that so y'all have a good one gents thanks for watching